Hey everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here. So I'm back. Um, holy crap, I've been gone since like September. I'm very sorry about that. Um, basically, life happened. Um, life got in the way in all the right ways, basically. Um, Frig, I don't even know, man. I In September, like I've, I've mentioned, I was really, really freaking lucky and got a full-time teaching job with um the best class that I could have ever imagined um I teach grade seven and eight right now um which is insanely busy um I've got the best group of nuggets that you could ever imagine um they challenge me every single day they make me laugh every single day they've made me cry and all with in sentimental reasons and I'm not a sentimental slob in that way so basically I've just won the job lottery for this, for this year. It's a one-year contract and I'm beside myself with both exhaustion and excitement. I am excited to go back to work every single day. I look forward to Mondays, which is twisted. But, um, and a lot of people have told me like, ah, oh, it's because you're young and blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, that will go away. And I'm like, wow, thanks for the cynicism. But, um, but like, that's not how it feels. <laughs> I've been young and I've done my job before, and it's not been like that. Um, it's just these kids, you know? Um, everyone, ev teachers talk about there being that group, and, you know, that group that changes things. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello, Mickey. I know exactly what you want from me right now, and it's not what you're going to get. What? What? But they talk about, you know, <laughs> they talk about how, you know, you get that once in a lifetime class. And I just happened to get that once in a lifetime class, my first full year teaching. And it's not because, you know, it's my first year and everybody's like, oh, you have no standard. I've been a supply teacher for three years. I've seen, I've taught every, every intermediate child in my region. Um, so no, I know, I, I know classes and I've taught good, I've taught wonderful kids at other schools, but the last three years teaching these, these kids on and off has been different. I knew this, I knew the second that I started looking forward to getting calls to their classes when I was a supply, I knew there was something different about these kids. It's not because they're exceptionally behaved, like they're not exceptionally well behaved in any way. They, uh, trust me, we have our days, um, like five days a week, but, um, but we can talk, we talk about stuff, we talk about real things, we, they, we have really cool lessons, we have days where, you know, they work really, really hard, and other days where we just let loose and we go to the gym twice, you know, stuff like that, and I just, I wanted to come on, I, I had this video planned where I was going to film, like, a, a pet checklist, which I'm going to film next, I'm going to film that tomorrow, but, um, I just wanted to come on here and tell you where I've been, basically and explain to you, give you a couple updates. Um, and just tell you that, you know, like I'm not, I'm not like, I haven't, haven't gotten rid of all my pets. First of all, don't, don't, uh, I had a couple comments about that last week and I was like, really? Just cause I'm not active on this form of social media does not mean I'm not looking after my animals. I have, I have all my pets, um, in case, you know, in case you, uh, miss it, we did lose um, we have lost both Robin Hood, Little John, and Little John this year. We lost Lilo. Um, we lost Minerva, which was really, really hard. Um, we lost Gus last year, which you know. Um, so a lot this, this year, um, we've also lost a few hamsters. Um, but this year was really hard because we lost so many of our, like, old originals, if you know what I mean. Like, we lost in one calendar year, we lost Robin Hood, Little John, and Gus. And I know losing, and well, and Lilo, because she's been around for a long time as well. But, but so that was, that was like a kick in the face. Um, so it made it really hard. Um, it really killed a lot of my motivation to film. Izzy. It killed a lot of my motivation to film, and it killed a lot of my, like, interest in, not in, not in small animals, because that's simply not true. Hello. Not in small animals or anything like that. It's just just a lot of my interest in in the rest of it. It made it hard, and I didn't 
What are you doing? What? <laughs> so that was, so I'm trying, like slowly trying to kind of ease my way back into it, but but yeah, so we had a, we've, we've, we've had an interesting year. We've had a rough year. I had a lot of, I had some problems with, I basically made the, t I made a call to kind of remove some more problematic people from my life, um, which was hard and I'm still kind of adjusting to that. But one thing I found that teaching these kids has kind of made me hold myself more accountable for stuff like that. Um, in terms of like making sure that I, 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 when I tell them that they need to love and respect themselves and, and they need to expect that kind of thing from people that, that, you know, we're supposed to love them and that, you know, you need to see yourself authentically and all that, all this stuff that, you know, I believe when I'm telling my kids, I'm like, oh, shoot, I should, like, shit, I should probably start, um, you know, following my own advice just to try. And, uh, that's been, that's been tough this year, but I'm, tr I'm working on it. And these kids are making it a lot easier. It's really weird because you, you become, you teach, a lot of people tell you that you're crazy to teach intermediate. And I mean, I, I, I agree, but they do a lot for you as a human being because they can see, they see things in a way that's different and you can, and you can still, they're old enough though, where you can talk about real stuff and it's really cool because you know, you can have, like, I'll have a conversation with, like with a kid and we'll be talking about something and you know, I'll say something cause I sound concerned or if he's making a questionable choice and they'll just be like, yo, like, relax. You need to, you need to just chill <laughs> or, you know, you, you're worrying too. Like it's he, he, one of them tells me all the time. It's like, he's got two moms now because I fret <laughs> and he's not wrong basically, but these kids are just freaking awesome. I could, I could do a whole video just talking about my classroom and that's weird. And that's not what this channel's about. Like, you guys don't need to hear that we read Harry Potter, you know, as a class or that we've, you know, we have pajama parties where we watch the movies once we're done and we have house points and they've all been sorted and they just, they're just, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so excited to go to work every day. And that's basically, you know, as I'm sitting down here playing with chinchillas on a Saturday night, but they just, that's why I've been gone. I've been gone because I've been trying to be an adult. And also try to figure out some stuff to be a good role model for the kids that I teach. Um, and I hope I'm doing okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hope I'm doing all right. But yeah, so that's where we're at with that. My plan is to have a video this week, a, a checklist on um, how to select the right type of pet or maybe things to consider. And if you've got video ideas, drop them below because I'm, I'm struggling a bit. My brain's tired all the time. <laughs> Anywho, I just wanted to give you that little update. Um, we've got a lot of changes going on here in our household. We've got a lot of changes going on in our lives. Everything's really busy. I hope you guys are super well. I hope this video isn't too boring. I just wanted to come on here and be like, I'm still alive. And uh, I figured showing you these nuggets. This is Walt and Mickey, by the way. Um, I thought it would be easy. But they're tired. I'm tired. I'm going to whatever. If you want daily stuff, honestly, I'm active every day on Sherwood Burgers on Instagram. Um, not as much on Sherwood Small Pets, just I don't know why, but I'm followed around by like 300 pounds of dog right now and it's kind of fun, but that's that's where we're at. That's where I'm at. I'm exhausted. I'm a permanently exhausted pigeon, but I'm happy. So anyway, that's I'm going to do what these two are doing and go to bed. <laughs> I hope this finds you well. Be good to one another. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.